Okay. Okay, I go to my fourth question. Um, uh, if there is a reason behind the search, uh, does this reason the same in all person search or it vary person to person? Okay. Okay. There's some reason in me that that's... Uh, okay, uh, let's say if somebody has an idea of happiness, then, and he's seeking for this happiness, why an idea of happiness? These ideas are different to different people, because people have different ideas of what makes them happy. So, very definitely. But, all people have in common that all these ideas cannot make them really, truly happy. So, this is the same for all people. An idea of happiness cannot make him happy. And that there is an underlying happiness for everyone, which is beyond all ideas. And this again is the same for every person. Idea of happiness comes from the mind. And there is thought, 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 one thought coming, the other thought going. As we investigated here in Satsang, while we are immersed in the train of thought, you're always in the past or you're in the future. When the train of thought stops, there comes stillness. And when there is stillness, there is peace of mind. And when there is peace of mind, you are happy. And this is the same for every person. Every person who is in a state of peace of mind, in a state of being beyond thought, is naturally, automatically happy. My fifth question is, are there anything like true or real search and false or illusory search? That we can say there is a real search and one is... Okay. There, is there something like that? Okay. Like a true illusory search is seeking in the wrong place. Research is seeking in the right place. Seeking in the wrong place is seeking in the realm of ideas. Seeking the realm of ideas of happiness. When I do this, I accomplish this, I will be happy. Then you're seeking in the wrong place. And you realize that all your thoughts cannot take you to a state of happiness. That you have to drop all thought. That you have to go to a state of no mind, of no thought, and you will be real happy. Okay? And then you look and see, well, what can I do to make the flow of thought stop? And then you are seeking in the right place. And this is real seeking. First was illusory thinking, and this is real seeking now. Okay? But a person who is, say, currently uh, um, doing a, a wrong, uh, illusory seeking, yeah? Or, or carrying this idea uh, that the idea of happiness can make him happy, yeah. But that is happening really to him. Yes. He he doesn't. Uh, that person doesn't okay. know from the from the say the real search. Yes. Yeah. He's on the way, uh, or, or he's on his way uh, with the illusory search. Yes. So. So, how he will turn, how he will come back to the real search, how will yeah. okay. How will okay. he become aware about his, his, how he will come to know about that, he is on a wrong path. So first you will write, this person is caught up in illusion, because he is seeking happiness in the wrong place, happiness in the realm of ideas, but the illusion is a real illusion, it's a real illusion. And as it is a real illusion, and as he's, he's caught up in illusion, he does not know that he is an illusion. So the question is, how can he get out of illusion yeah. when he does not know that he is an illusion? Yeah. So I tell you, 
uh, he won't get out of it unless he realizes by himself that it is an illusion. If he doesn't, someone must come and tell him, look, you are on an illusion. And if he understands and listens, he will get out of it. When he does not understand, he will not get out of it. And you cannot do anything about it. You say, I might say to this person, look, you're an illusion. You're always living in the past. You're always living in the future. You're never living in the here and now. And happiness is only in the here and now. There is no happiness in the past. There is no happiness in the future. Maybe he won't understand. And what he won't understand, maybe he won't understand what I'm talking about. And then he will remain in a state of illusion. I can't do anything about it. My next question is, uh, can a person become aware about his or her uh, about his or her search yeah and make the search more effective make the search more effective yeah that be by becoming more aware about the search make the search more effective no okay good first people are not aware of seeking they always want greater happiness but they don't realize that they want greater happiness because we, they never think about it just happens automatically, subconsciously, they live very subconsciously, okay? Some people begin to wake up, living more consciously, and then they ask yourself, themselves, what am I doing all the time? Looking for happiness here and there and there, and didn't find any happiness. Happiness must lie somewhere else. And then they start seeking consciously, right? Start seeking consciously. So your question was? What can they do to become more conscious? Right? So if the search, if they are more aware, yeah, yeah. and if the, if the, then the search becomes more effective. The, the, to make the search more effective. To make the search more effective, person must realize I want to have happiness, but there is something inside myself which takes me away from happiness. Like what? My anger, my fear. And very basically, it is the I, the illusion of the I, which draws me away from my happiness. Because I means separation. So the person has to realize that the I takes him away from happiness. And then he must see how to dissolve the I, how to become aware of the illusion of the I. Maybe he will be able to do it himself. In very rare cases, mostly you will need a teacher who tells him about the illusion of the eye and how to become aware of the illusion of the eye to make the illusion dissolve. That's why you came here, probably, I suppose. Okay, the next question is. No, I want to say something. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Um, it's for me a strange thing to to judge. Search. When a, when a person comes to the point that uh, that he or she recognizes that he or she has to dissolve the I, this is a great point. And I think it takes a long time to get to that place. Yes. So how do yeah. we cannot judge that until that point the search was less effective than from that point on? You cannot really judge. You have no scale to judge. Mm -hmm. Maybe before the person was caught up in the illusion of the eye and was seeking, seeking, seeking and in the wrong place, but still it was very effective in a manner of speaking because one day it will turn him towards realizing that the eye is an illusion. So it was effective. 
So there is no okay. So there is no real way of judging what is effective and what is not effective. You you really don't know. This is a very good point you make. Like for example, I say true happiness is in the here and now. Okay, no thought, nothing. Okay, to be in the here and now, you have to be beyond all thought, just looking, just looking very straight at life. 